The next job we're going to process is creating a jig using the CO2 laser and then using that jig to hold the tools and then mark those tools with the fiber-based laser. So we've got a piece of standard foam here. This is great. A lot of our customers use this type of foam for toolboxes where they cut a shape for a given tool and then, of course, the tool nests right into that location. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is set the jig, the material, up in the upper left corner. The upper left corner is the zero, zero position in the laser, which corresponds to the upper left corner of the page in the graphic artwork that we set up. I've set this job up to do an autofocus sequence. You'll notice I've got quite a bit of distance between the lens assembly and the material. But we set autofocus in our job manager or our print driver, uh, and then the table will raise to the proper location and then the cutting will start. So I'm gonna close the lid here, and then we're gonna go over to the computer and set up this job, and we'll be ready to go. Back at the computer, you can see that we've got a graphic style, uh, excuse me, a graphic file set up for those three wrenches. Uh, you can create these images by taking a photograph and then importing that photograph into a, a graphics program like CorelDRAW and then simply using a trace tool to define the outline of those. Uh, so that's what we've done here. Uh, you can see we've got the three different sizes in here. So what I'm going to do is to select those objects and then go back to our print driver. I'll go into preferences here. And then I'm going to use the CO2 laser for this job because we want to cut all the way through the foam. I'm not going to use the center engraving feature. This is what we used last time when we marked that single tool. I am going to select autofocus because I want the machine to automatically focus to the right height of that foam material. I'll tell the machine that the vector grid is installed as well. The vector grid is used for any kind of cutting application where you're penetrating through a given material. Below the grid material is some uh, space where the laser beam is dissipated. So in all cutting applications, you would want to use the vector grid. And then the thickness value that we apply here is the thickness of the foam material. And that's uh, one half an inch, so 0 0.5. Uh, and then we're going to do the vector cutting portion. Uh, and then we're ready to go. So we've got the parameters that we know will work well for this foam. So we click OK. And then OK here. And then the job is sent over to the laser. At the laser, we're ready to cut this foam material. You'll notice when we start the job that the table is going to come up to the proper focal distance, and then the cutting will start. It's kind of hard to see the actual cutting there, but you'll see a little bit of off-gassing off -gassing of the material coming off. Of course, all laser systems need to be vented to remove the smoke and the vapors and the particulates. So we'll just let the laser run through here and cut these foam pieces, and then we'll install our wrenches for marking. Okay, we've cut those items. Now I'm going to open the lid and we'll just pull out those cut pieces. You see we've got a nice clean cut on all of those. And then we'll drop our wrenches in place. And now we'll set up the next job to mark with the fiber laser. So let's go back to the computer and we'll get that one set up. Back at the computer, you can see that we've got some graphics set up in here. You'll notice that we've got two items that are green in color and one that is red in color. I'm going to explain how we're doing this. Uh, those wrenches are different heights off the deck, if you will. And so we program the laser to adjust the focus as it goes from one wrench to the next. These two bottom wrenches are the same height. Uh, the top one is a little bit taller, and so we set the focus distances a little bit different for those. So we've got those set up. Let's go to print. We'll go back into the print driver. And here we're going to set up a little bit differently. We're going to select the fiber laser as opposed to CO2. This is the metal marking unit. We're going to autofocus, and we've got the vector grid in. Um, we've got the color mapping tab here. This is really how we tell the laser that we want it to treat those two different types of marks in there. You'll notice we've got a red and a green. Uh, we set laser parameters for each of those. So here you see that we've got 20 speed and 100 power, one frequency. The thickness, the 0 .032, is the height of that wrench uh, off the deck, if you will. You'll notice if we go to the green, that changes just slightly because there's a, a little difference in the height of those materials, and we need to program those as closely as we can to get more consistent marking uh, between the different components. 
So once we're done there, we click OK, and then OK here, and the job goes over to the laser. I'll close the lid on the door, and we'll start the marking process. As it goes to the next mark, you'll notice the table height changed just a little bit. That's the programming we did through color mapping to adjust for different focal planes. Okay, this job is done. I'm just gonna turn this a little bit, rotate it slightly, and I'll pull one of these tools out and you can see how nicely that marked that material. Always a little bit of dust that comes off, but that's a nice deep permanent etch into that material. And they're all very consistent in mark type and quality. Get it in the right light angle there, if you can see it a little better. Okay, let's move on to the next material.